Hey girl, hey! Welcome or welcome back to Heavenly Zen Designs where crafting and chaos meet. Through mixed media art, wood decor, life, and more, you just never know what we're getting into next. So go grab your coffee and pull up a seat. We got lots to do and even more to talk about. My name is Kelly and I am so excited you're here. Before we begin, please do me a solid and share this channel with all of our friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you too can be the first to know when new videos are released. Let's get started. Hey everyone. So how was that preview? Are you excited for today's project? I know I was. I don't know if you guys know, but this is currently spring break here in Virginia, the home of the lovers. Um, Today we're going to be doing a project, uh, something that I call personalized name set. Uh, this is my fifth name set that I have done. Uh, I've done three other sets for customers and I did a name set for my baby girl who is currently 20 months old. Um, but I did that like two years ago, you guys. And when I got her letters, this is before I had a Glowforge and a Muse Titan X2, you know, before I could cut my own wood. Um, I picked all their letters up from Michael's craft store and I actually got five sets of names at that time. So Delaney's is done. Um, we're working on Chloe's today and I still have three others. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a mama of many, all girls. Um, I have six, uh, children. My husband has four additional children. It's like his, mine, and ours, kind of like the Brady Bunch. He had four. I had three. We got together. Now we have three more. Um, Chloe is one of ours. So yes, there are 10 kids in all. 10. Now that we got that gem of information out of the way, let's start on our project. Okay, so today, you guys, again, like I had said previously, these letters actually came from Michael's. Um, I can't remember how much they were. Um, I think they were around $9 a piece when I initially purchased them. But like I said, that was a couple years ago. So the scrapbook paper pad that you see here is from scrapbook.com. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lay out some paper um, on each of the letters. And I do like to do like pattern and then like a lighter background just to alternate um, the letters a little bit to give, you know, nice contrast. Um, Chloe actually was very involved in this project. Normally I do stuff like this all by myself. I do have ADHD. I have a hard time focusing, especially when, you know, with all the kids in the house, I get very distracted, but she was very much involved. And when I asked her to please let me do what I needed to do, she would walk away and then come back. Um, I just have to do things that way just because when I have a bunch of people around me at one time, I feel very overwhelmed. And so it's just better that, you know, she helps me, walks away, helps me, walks away. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these letters and I'm going to find the best place that I can find that has the most interest that will cover these letters. And sometimes that means that the letters all the way to the top, or all the way to the right, left, bottom, whatever. But once I trace the letters, I cut everything out. So I'm sitting here watching this and I'm thinking, man. If only I could really cut that fast, like in real life. Do you know how much stuff I could get done? Oh my goodness. I wish I could cut that fast. Oh, look, it's all done. <laughs> okay, so I had asked Chloe, do you want a smooth edge or do you want the edges roughed up? And she actually wanted the edges roughed up. So um, I'm going to use a pair of scissors, but I do pull out a tool that can actually, you know, scuff up rough up the edges of the paper um that edger that i have 
that scuffer, that little tiny thing. I think it's a Tim Holtz. Um, it's really old and the, the little tiny blades on it don't work anymore. I do have a new one in my Amazon card, but I haven't purchased it yet. But anyways, it literally does the same exact thing that a pair of scissors can do. Um, I do feel like the scissors go faster. I'll say that. I think the scissors do go faster. Um, that little round thing is less likely to really tear your paper. Um, but I've really learned to just love however my product projects come out. Sorry, projects. Sometimes I tear the paper. I teared a lot of the paper in this one. Anyways, you're going to rough up all the edges if you choose, or you can make them smooth. Just leave them the way they are. The next thing we're going to do is Mod Podge uh, the scrapbook paper to the letters. And I am going to tell you, it's probably best to just Mod Podge the letter itself. Whenever you Mod Podge scrapbook paper, it tends to wrinkle for some reason. So just give a nice thin layer on your wood letters. Um, obviously do one at a time. And what I'm going to be doing here, once this glue is on or the Mod Podge is on here, I'm going to lay my letter on that. And then I'm going to actually push it down just to the point where that roughed up edge is. I'm not going to push that roughed up edge down um, on to the letter. And this just kind of helps it stand out a little bit more. Now, if I was going to go for a smooth edge, then I would not um, stop, you know, just prior to the edge. I would just continue pushing all of it down. I mean, you can kind of see my fingers going around and I'm really focusing on the middle and just right up to that border where um, that roughed up edge is at. And I'm going to do this for all of the letters. Now, I'm sure we have all seen it before. Anything that you are Mod Podging, gluing, etc., anything you're trying to glue down sometimes has a tendency to lift. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do go back and I do go over the letter that I was working on and the previous letter that I was working on just to make sure that all the edges were down. Now, I thought they were, but you'll see, I think later on, I had three edges on two different letters lift. And so I ended up just um, hot gluing those uh, edges down. Y'all, my baby just woke up, so you may hear some squawking. Um, she gets really, really loud <laughs> when she wants attention. Uh, my other kids are, like, taking care of her at the moment, and hopefully, um, well, let's just see how this goes. Any, back to the project. Okay, so now I'm putting a top coat of Mod Podge on top of the scrapbook paper. I go all the way to the edge, like I've told told you before, that edge where the border is, where the, the edges are scuffed up. I'm just going to go right up to that, but I'm not going to Mod Podge over it because I want those edges to be standing out, basically. Okay, that did not take long. Baby girl is now nursing. We got to keep doing this video. So, okay, we got done gluing everything, putting Mod Podge on the top. Now, me and Chloe are going to pull out all of these flowers. She wants to do the floral design for her letters. All of these flowers are Prima flowers and they came from scrapbook.com. You can also pick some up from Michael's Hobby Lobby. I'm I don't know if Joann's has them. I'm not sure. Um, but I usually buy my Prima flowers from scrapbook.com. Actually, I have seen them on Amazon as well. Um, but scrapbook, usually you can get coupons. And so the price is a little bit less. You get a little bit, like 10% off the price. Y'all, it is the next day. <laughs> Chloe worked for several hours trying to build her florals for each of her letters. And I'm going to tell you something that cracked me up. She came into my room and she's like, you know, if you had just named me C, this would be done already. 
And I was like, what? And she's like, putting flowers on is so stressful. Art isn't supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be stress relieving. It was so funny. She had me cracking up. I did end up helping her with the design of her florals, try to make it a little bit more cohesive and the layout. She needed some help with that. But now we are on the second day. So this was a two day project. Now, mind you, like I said, I have six kids at home, a baby that nurses uh, all the time. We're extended breastfeeding. Um, I've got a husband, I've got work, work from home as well. So I'm trying to run my website, trying to do orders. It's just a lot. It's a lot. So, and we have three dogs, one of which is deaf. Did I tell you guys that already? No? Well, now you know. So now our C, it's done. This has floral and leaves on it. Uh, Chloe decided a little later that she wanted to add a bunch of extra stuff and we'll definitely get to it. But this is what it looks like with just the florals. Now we're going to glue all these on as she has them as quickly and cohesively <laughs> as possible. Because once you move one, it's like everything is stuck to it. So then stuff shifts around and... So we're just trying to make sure that we're gluing it um, to match what she had already put on there. This one kind of gave us a little trouble. We needed to add something and didn't realize what we needed, but we found it. It was a leaf, a little tiny leaf. Okay, so now I'm showing you what I'm going to use as far as my writing tools. I have Posca pens, black and white, and I also have Sharpies that are oil-based markers. I'm going to show you, I am going to go around the inside of the boundary line that we've talked about several times already. So I'm not going to do anything to the scuff paper part right now, but in a bit, you guys will see that we did end up doing something with that. So right now I'm just trying to prime my markers and make sure that they're working. And I'm pretty sure like this next full section, my head's probably in the way and I apologize. Um, I can't help it. It's like I can see, but when it comes to detail, I am blind as a bat and being two feet away is way too far for me. So I am zooming in like a microscope, getting down in there, down and dirty not really dirty but you know what i mean so here i'm going around with a black um, posca pen then on the inside of that black posca pen i went with a white posca pen and i realized that i really needed to make that black a little bit brighter so instead i took the sharpie which actually has a shine to it a gloss I went over the black with that. So we have a black gloss from the Sharpie and a white chalky line from the Posca pen. Now here is where it got interesting. I pulled my alcohol markers out because me and Chloe were looking at these letters and we're like, hmm, they are just missing something. So I found a moss colored alcohol marker, um, a green color that matched the green on the scrapbook paper. And I went over that roughed up edge with that alcohol marker and it turned out gorgeous. Absolutely love it. I probably will be doing this on more of the projects that I do. I normally don't do that, but this is something, something new um, that I will be doing again. We're just gonna see what the other girls think when it's their turn. My 15 year old Kaili, she was pulled out of the hat second, so she's the next one to get her name set done, letter set done. So, you guys be on the lookout for that video. I will tell you, she is completely different um, in style than um, some of my other kids. She is more like me, tomboy mainly, and then she has a feminine side so i'm really interested in seeing what her letters are actually going to turn out and look like 
Oh my gosh, you guys, my husband just sent me a Snapchat of something that was so funny. It was so funny. <sighs> and I really would like to put it on here, but I can't because it's inappropriate. Not because of me or him. Somebody else did it. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, okay, back to what we were doing. I was showing Chloe her C and her H so that she could see it um, with the alcohol marker, that green alcohol marker on the roughed up edge part of the letters, and she loved it. So she went away, and now I'm doing this up by myself. So I'm using the black Sharpie, and then I'm using the white Posca pen, and then I'm going in with the green alcohol marker in one of those orders um <clears throat> but i'm finishing up all the letters and i'm thinking okay okay cool we're gonna be done no we were not done she decided that she wanted something else after i was like la la look at it it's so pretty it's so pretty and she was like but i want to add words to it I have done words on all the other sets that I've done. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I gave her my little Tim Holtz books and she got to picking out words that she feels represents her. And the baby brought me her book <laughs> and I taped it up. It's her favorite book and I just couldn't throw it away. So I taped every single page just to make sure it lasts a little bit longer. So now that she found her words, she now wants to add metals um, to her letters. And the metals will be the backdrop for the words that she chose. So I'm just going to let her go to town and find the ones that she wants to use. And of course, this task was taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. She's in there digging them out one by one. I'm like, girl, we got to go a little bit faster. Why don't we just pour these out? That way you can go through them, see what you can find, see if you can find anything that matches. You don't have to match, but if you want to, you can. So she did find the metals that she wanted to use. And in the meantime, I glued her words to a piece of watercolor paper, and then I cut around it to give it a little bit of a border. So that way, when we lay it on top of the metals, it'll have a 3D effect. Well, I'm not sure if you noticed, but she was also digging out jewels <laughs> and like pearl beads and different different other little embellishments that she thought would be pretty on her letters, which was an addition to what I initially thought. Because I had asked her for, at the beginning, do you want all this extra stuff or do you just want flowers? And initially she told me she only wanted flowers. So I was like, cool, this is going to be easy. I'm going to get this done. Look at these split. No, I have six hours of video that I cut down to like 22 minutes, but that doesn't include all the hours it took to actually lay the flowers out, etc. You know, there's a lot of OCD that goes on in this house. I mean, me being the number one, umero, num, umero, num, numero, 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 uno. <laughs> Anyways, so... Here I am. She was able to find four metals that match. That's the H-L-O-E. But for the C, she could only find a different shape metal, which were smaller, but she did find multiple of those. So we actually just layered them on top of each other to make it wide enough to match the length of the metals that are on the other letters. And then we glued, hot glued, um, the words on top. So when you're gluing metals with hot glue, oh my gosh, the metal gets super, super hot. So you have to be really, really careful. These metals had uh, a bunch of holes in them. So I was trying to very delicately just put them on, not push them all the way down where the hot glue squeezed out in between, you know, through all the holes. And then I was trying to glue on the words without like literally pushing everything down. Because like I said, we this is a lot of 3d going on here so we want to make sure that those letters have the i'm sorry the words have a lift the metals that are under it have a lift so that they stick out 
So now she's like, Mom, I want these jewels and these beads would be cool. And so I was like, oh, okay. So like we could do this or that with the H. Look, we could give the butterfly like a little trail. And she thought that was super cool. So that's what I did. I started with the H. Um, I added the beads and the jewels to every one of these. And it definitely kicked it up a notch. Not only that, after this had been sitting for a while and without her permission, <laughs> I ended up adding glitter. Um, I feel like the glitter, it's very subtle. And you can't, I honestly don't even know if you can see it in the pictures, but it is so subtle. And I did it on the flowers or if there was like shading in the background on some of the letters, I would do it on that part only. Like I was very picky about where I put it. And they turned out, they are so gorgeous. I do not think that any photo or video that I have actually recorded has done any of this justice. And when these were done, guys, Chloe came over and gave me the biggest hug. She was so impressed. I think she was more impressed with her work than mine. <laughs> Anywho, that is it. I hope you enjoyed what we did today. As always, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about the process or where I got my supplies and I didn't mention it already or if it's not in the description box, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Again, please do me a solid. Share the channel with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon if you haven't done so already so you can be the first to know when a new video releases. Until next time, craft like crazy, reign in the chaos, live life to the fullest, and I'll meet you right back here in my next video. Love you guys.